In this lesson, we'll discuss the effect of pH on solubility. Question one reads, determine whether each compound is more soluble in an acidic solution than it is in a neutral solution. Let's begin with barium fluoride. If barium fluoride dissociates, it becomes barium ions and fluoride ions. Focusing in on the fluoride ions, this is likely a conjugate base of a weak acid. Think of, for example, hydrofluoric acid, HF. When weak acids, such as HF, dissociate, they incompletely dissociate into very little hydronium and the majority being the fluoride ions. And the fluoride part serves as the conjugate base. And like most conjugate bases, they behave as weak bases. So the solubility of barium fluoride is greater in acidic solution because the fluoride ion here is a weak base. Let's move on to part B. This time we have silver iodide. The solubility of silver iodide is not greater in an acidic solution, unlike in question A. That's because iodide, if this dissociates, is not a base like fluorine was in the previous question. Iodine usually pairs up with hydrogen, forming iodic acid, and that is a strong acid. Strong acids, when they break down, they break down into mostly hydronium, in this case, and very little effect does the iodine ion have on the pH. So iodine is technically pH neutral. This is why the solubility of silver iodide is not greater in an acidic solution. Finally, in question C, we have calcium hydroxide. Now, hydroxide, whenever it's paired with a metal, after it dissociates in water, forms a strong base. Usually the anion OH- has strong basic properties. So because the hydroxide ions here are a strong base, the solubility of this molecule is greater in an acidic solution. Let's move on to question two. Which compound, iron carbonate or lead to bromide, is more soluble in acid than in a base? And we have to discuss why. Before we begin answering this, remember the following, that the solubility of an ionic compound with a strongly basic or weakly basic anion increases with increasing acidity. So the anion here is CO3, 2 minus, and the anion here is bromide. So we have to determine which of these solutions is acidic, and from there we can find out. Well, if we break down FeCO3, if that breaks down, we end up with Fe2 plus and carbonate. This is basic. Whereas Pb, if that's broken down, PbBr2, we end up with lead ions and bromide ions. This likely came from HBr, which is a strong acid. And if that's a strong acid, then you're going to have a pH neutral anion. So this would be pH neutral. That means this molecule, FeCO3, is more soluble in an acid than is PbBr2, given that its anion is pH neutral. And there you have it. That is how you determine the effect of pH on solubility.